Head, now joined by the head coach of the Mustangs, Coach Kathy Raley. Coach, it's good to see you. We talked a lot today about you guys never trailed. Um, every time they challenged you, every time they responded, your team came up with the plays that were necessary. How proud are you of the effort that uh, your girls had here today? I, you know, I'm so proud of them. Uh, you know, it wasn't pretty at times, but sometimes it was very pretty. And we got contributions out of so many different people today. And that's what I love to see as a coach. And what I told them down in the locker room as we were heading up, um, you know, picking a player to kind of highlight today, I said I, I could look around the room and look at each face and say gosh I remember when you did this so great in today's yeah. game and I know when I remember when you did this so great in this game and I could go around person to person and identify really wonderful moments that each person had that makes a coach happy the W makes the coach really <laughs> very happy but you know it makes it happy that we're, we're making strides uh, taking strides forward and which is what we need to do you know this was our last non-conference game we got to be ready now great, great. We talked about, and tell, tell us if you agree mm -hmm. with this, we talked about how it was good that today was a battle that yes. you came out on top of, as opposed to it being a lopsided victory in right. your favor. Well, I'm going to take responsibility for us coming out cold at the at the beginning of the second half. You know, I let the kids out, let, uh, let the girls out late. I should have had them out here kind of, it's a cold day. Can't run out of the locker room and step foot on the field and, and be ready to go. So uh, I'll take responsibility for those first five or ten minutes and that's in that first half. And then after that, I felt we settled in a little bit. A little bit better um, you know we got way better at our free position goals I think we were four for four on our free position goals in the second half which yep. is Six you know to, to go from 50% mm -hmm. in the first half to 100% in the second half is really that's important um, we didn't do so great on the draws and and, and sometimes you know the draws can there's some luck involved in that we were oftentimes in the second half as well as the first half first to touch it we just weren't getting it yep. and and that cost us some some possessions um, you know, credit to Buffalo State. I thought that they had some good game plans on their attacking side. But I thought that we, as the game was going on, that second half was going on, we were getting better at zeroing in on that. And, you know, Mac Ferguson stepped up her play. Eight saves in the second yes. half. That was yes, yes, and good ones, and good ones. Excellent, yes. really excellent. She made the adjustments ones. that we talked about at the at the halftime. So what is the, we're going to talk to Jamie about it in a second, mm -hmm. but what is this anything you can do, I can do better thing that she and Sarah Rorty have going on right now, where they end up combining not just for how they play defensively, but four goals for you guys today? Well, you know, it's they're both such good players, and they both know how to dodge, and they both just have know how to get to a space at a quick speed. A lot of the troubles that we've had on our attack is that we our attackers and our middies don't attack like that. And it's good to see that we're going to have highlights and film to show this is how you go to goal. Now, whether or not you take the shot, there were times that both of these girls, both Jamie and Sarah, didn't take the shot, but they made so many people crash to them and play to them that, that we were open on the help side to maybe make a better, a, a, more of a layup type shot. So um, I think that this, it's great. I think that, you know, if we could get a couple more, you know, we had Gabby DeJello had, mm -hmm. had one go at I would love to see her score as well maybe that'll light a fire under some of our attackers that really need to go that hard and transition to goal besides Carly Carly Bowes goes that hard but everybody else could t could learn a lesson well you've talked all season mm -hmm. about how too many of your goals come from your midfield yes and from your defense mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. not from your attack what what change do you need to make for that or do the girls need to make for that to they have to number one they have to really make quicker moves and sharper in sharper directions we talk a lot this last couple of days and today in particular about our cuts not being round our cuts should be straight lines and have hard corners um, I think we're still working on that with some of the younger attackers um, we didn't our attackers didn't finish well today I thought we we created some things and we got open and then we just shot right into the goalie's chest yes. so at least we're to the point that we're catching the ball in the middle and we're releasing a shot I think that that was good um, they just they have to go hard they, they, they look scared they play scared um, they play one at a time whereas the mid middies it's there's no doubt that they're going you can see the fire in their eyes we just need a little more fire on that attack Coach, in the meantime, congratulations yes. on a win. Yes, thank you very and much. And best of luck as you head out on the road to Great. open up conference play this week. Thank you both. Thank you. She is Coach Kathy Raley.